A new study shows that gray hair may actually be reversible, which is good news for some people, certainly not me or I don't know, maybe some of my friends, but not useful for me in the near future. Anyway, we'll keep moving. It is actually a fascinating study because what they discovered is that stem cells were getting stuck, specifically melanin producing stem cells. They were getting stuck in intracellular compartments and not able to provide the melanin that you need to add color to your hair, which I found to be fascinating. And also interesting that if they restored the mobility of the cells, that could allow for the continuation of pigment production, thus eliminating gray hair, which, it, you know, that's okay. Look, I think gray hair looks good on some men. It looks very distinguished. Again, I'm not sure what men or what men, but just some people. So in a study published in the Journal of Nature from the New York University's Grossman School of Medicine, which I opened up over here called dedifferentiation maintains melanocyte stem cells in a dynamic niche. And this is what we're going to be talking a lot about today. Melanocyte stem cells, the ones that make melanin. And essentially what they discovered is that the melanocytes themselves traveling between compartments of developing hair follicles in a healthy situation. And what they found when studying these melanite stem cells is that in a healthy situation, these stem cells can travel between compartments of developing hair and everything is healthy and normal. They can mature, pick up the protein that they can be re regenerated into pigment cells and continually color hair. However, some melanite stem cells can get stuck in a hair follicle bulge compartment and become unable to move back to the germ compartment where the WNT proteins encourage the cells to regenerate into pigment cells. Getting stuck means it does not encounter these proteins necessary for transformation, which means no pigment cells, which means gray hair. As the scientists describe it, it is the loss of chameleon-like function of the melanocyte stem cells that may be responsible for graying and loss of hair color. So basically they're discussing the fact that melanite stem cell motility might be reversible in a way to keep hair healthy and color. Basically, if we can free the stem cells so that they can move and they don't get stuck in these follicle bulges, then they can return to where they're supposed to be, encounter the proper proteins, and go back to making hair color. One thing that is interesting is that scientists don't know exactly why this particular system of stem cells fails earlier than other adult stem cell populations, why this is the first thing to go in particular, but I do find it fascinating. Uh, I do want to point out that this study was done on mice and they're not sure if it works on humans, but it's interesting to think that stem cell therapy might literally just give you hair color back, which sounds promising, you know, for some people out there somewhere that might be experiencing this problem, wherever they may be.